How's it going, everybody? It is Jeffers Craft, and I'm back again with a, another video for you today. Um, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for you. I said I was gonna do this one. Um, I did the Forge, Forge version of Minecraft. Showed showed you how to mod Minecraft with the Forge version or the Forge mod loader. And this time, I am going to do the Fabric mod loader and show you how to make a Minecraft with the fabric mod loader you know so that you can put all the fabric mods on there it's gonna be awesome because fabric mods actually update a little sooner i think and uh there's quite a few of them for 1.17 oh yeah and by the way this is for 1.17 that i'm gonna do this today so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this man um i'm gonna try to do step by step as simple as possible show you all of this and uh we will get to it right after this guys All right, guys, here we go. Are you ready to do this? Are you ready to mod Minecraft with the fabric mod loader and uh, put some Optifine on it so you can run it with shaders, man? Amazing, I love it. Um, I prefer the fabric mod loader. There's not as many mods for it, which is unfortunate, so I do use uh, Forge a lot more. But fabric does update its its mods. It seems like it anyway, the, mods, the mod creators upload uh, or update them faster so um eventually i think it's gonna be the better um but they're both awesome so you know i'm not gonna compare the two i'm just gonna show you how to do it uh do it with fabric man do put your mods and your your shaders on with the fabric mod loader okay so let's get into it so the first thing you're gonna want to do is go into your internet browser and you're gonna want to get uh, four different things okay so here we go so let's start with fabric. So you're gonna to wanna to type in your browser, fabric, Minecraft, something like that. And it should uh, be the first the first selection. Um, and then once you get onto the website, this is it right here, it looks like this. And you wanna um, you wanna look at two things. First, you wanna download the installer, the jar file. And then you're also gonna to wanna to download the fabric API. That's how, as you see, that's how most mods um, most fabric mods will work okay so you need that um so anyway download that and if it says this of course you want to keep it it's not going to harm your computer i promise so keep it and there you go it's downloading and it's done and then you want to get the fabric api which it takes you to the um to the forge website which is an awesome website where you can get all your mods for sure but anyway so then you want to do download the version that's the 1.17.1 download that one and uh, once it's ready it will say the same thing you want to keep the file because there's nothing wrong with it. it's not gonna hurt your computer I promise you that um all right so once that's done you want to go back to or then you want to go back to your internet browser and you want to go type in um, opti fabric okay and then it'll be I'm sure it'll be your first option when you type that in and it'll take you to the forge website once again and uh here it is optifabric you you need this to basically link optifine and fabric together to be able to play with your shaders right so so you want to download the whatever version of minecraft you're doing but i'm doing 1.17.1 so i'm going to download that and it's going to go through the same thing just keep it and there it is man and so we're down to the last thing so you want to go to your internet browser and type in optifine and it'll be probably the first one that you see and then once you're on their website it looks just like this and you're going to want to go for the one the version of minecraft that you're trying to make here which i'm doing 1.17.1 and, and these are beta versions of it right now preview versions but they work fine as far as i know so um, I'm going to do the, the latest one, which is G9 Preview 35. All right. So I'm going to download that. And this one's a little bit different, but all you got to do is wait for this here. It'll count down and then just put skip. And then it'll take you to this. You want to go onto the little, little purple or blue download button and click that. Keep it. And when it is done, we have everything we need to 
we have everything we need now to mod Minecraft with fabric and use shaders. Okay, so now I'm going to close the browser. We do not need that anymore. And then I'm going to go to my downloads folder or wherever you your downloads go to. And then you, I'm going to want to open that up. And here we go. I got my four, the four things I downloaded. I'm going to drag them over to my desktop. Okay, so they're easy to work with. And then I'm gonna shut that down. Okay, so now the first thing you wanna do is your fabric installer, you're gonna wanna double click on that uh, jar file. And then you're gonna wanna, you know, the, the version of Minecraft that you are using, you're gonna wanna install that one. So I'm using 1.17.1, so I'm going to install. And there you go, It's it's it has successfully installed onto my well, what, what that does actually is it goes directly onto, you know, your launcher, your Minecraft launcher so that you can um, work with that. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. I'm, maybe I'm not explaining well, but I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay, so here, open up your Minecraft launcher and it could be, you know, whichever launcher that you use. It could be a paid for version or the, like the T launcher, um, the pirated one. I, I think they'll work no matter what. And look at it, loaded a, a fabric loader um of 1.17.1 and then uh so so now we have it right and so what you want to do next okay is you want to go into um installations okay and you're going to want to make a new installation this is what i do i mean you could just actually click on that version of minecraft and work with that but i like to make its own separate name and file system and everything because i have as you can see i have so many different versions of minecraft so i like to separate it to make sure i know which one's which exactly okay so anyway this is how i do it i go into new installation i look for see right here the release i want to go into that and i want to find the one that says fabric 1.17.1 so there it is right there i want to go on to that one and then i'm going to just name it uh I guess Jeffers Craft, why not? You can name it whatever you want, of course. You can name it Jeffers Craft if you want. I mean, shoot. Um, oh, what did I do? My bad, okay. Somehow I pushed the wrong wrong thing. So f please forgive that. <laughs> All right, so anyway, let's try that again. Here, this is the version of Minecraft we want to use. We're going to name it. And I'm going to name it Jeffers Craft. Okay, there we go. Okay, and so now the next thing you want to do, or, or I always do anyway, because you don't want your files just going all into the Minecraft folder and it could get very messy and lost, I think. So what I always do is I go into my browser and I actually create a new folder. And then I just always name it the same name. I mean, you can name it whatever, but I'm going to name it Jeffers Craft once again. Okay and then push okay and then there you go you have your file that's called jeffers craft and then the last thing that you want to do you can ch you can put the resolution at whatever but i always just do auto so then it'll just go to whatever your monitor is okay and then you go to more options and then down here in more options you see x mx and then 2g okay so that, that's your the amount of ram that the, the my your minecraft is going to use to populate your mods and things like that and so if you have a lot of mods and you have this set low it could be pretty tough on it and maybe not even start it could crash right so you want to what i do is i just half my my system my computer systems ram so my computer has uh, 32 gigs so i just put 16 and if you have eight of course you put four if you have 16 you put eight you, you get what i mean so there you go and so that should be oh let's just uh why don't we just make it bedrock you know the you can actually put your own little picture if you want to but anyway so we so there we go we, we, we created our version of minecraft and it is right here jeffers craft okay so now what you want to do is you want to play it okay you want to open that up so what it does is it populates your folders you know make sure that you have have a mods folder and uh it's not going to have a shader folder, but it has your resource pack, your saves, all the things that you you need to for your Minecraft to work properly, right? So, so that's what it's going to do right now. We're just going to play it. We're going to make sure it populates, and uh, and then we'll move on from there.
and we're getting there man we are almost ready to have a modded fabric modded minecraft with shaders okay so here we go there there it is right there let me make it bigger see fabric modded 1.17.1 okay so and uh i'm just gonna close that okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna now that it populated those folders well first thing you would do if you have never done this before is you would go into your search okay and you would put percent um app data percent i believe is what it would be um and what that does is here i'll show you what that does once you do that is it brings you to your i have a quick i mean i would suggest doing this put a quick uh a quick little spot for yourself quick access spot for your minecraft folder but anyway if you first do a uh, percent app data percent it will take you to your app data and then your roaming folder and then in your roaming folder you'll there'll be your minecraft folder okay and once you're in your minecraft folder we're looking for the folder that we created which was jeffers craft okay and we're gonna go into it and see it has our mods folder and if it doesn't have it for, for some reason you can actually just make a new folder and make, call it mods okay but it but it should have it in there and uh and then there's your resource packs if you want that but but no shader folder like i said okay so what we're going to do is open our mods folder and we're going to drag our stuff over so we're going to take our um we don't need this fabric installation anymore so we can delete that but we're going to take take our opti fa fabric we're going to take take our fabric api so our mods can run and then we're going to take our optifine so we can have shaders okay and drag them into your mods folder you're done with that now we're ready to open up our minecraft again and we are almost there guys this is we're at the tail end of this race here <laughs> all right so now there it is jeffers craft we're gonna play that i'm gonna just let it load up and uh everything should be good to go if we did this right and hopefully we did All right, looks like everything is running smooth and there we go. So let's make this bigger. Let me just make sure and turn the, wait, before I show you this, I just want to turn the music down so it doesn't drown or doesn't play double music on you there. Okay, so what I wanted to show you is, let's make that bigger. Okay, so now look, we have Optifine on there. Optifine and Fabric on 1.17.1. .1. So. And there are quite a few mods now for 1.17.1 fabric so you know it's awesome man the newest version of minecraft you can play with shaders so let me just show you so we make sure so in your options and your video settings you have your shader folder now and you can add your shaders and there it is there it is that that is the that is all you have to do pretty simple guys and uh you know i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i explained everything that um if you have questions at all definitely leave them in the comments if i miss something i tried to be as thorough as i can and uh, explain the best that i can but uh like i said if you don't understand some things i'm saying or if i'm going too fast uh definitely ask me the questions in the comment and i will answer your questions to the best of my ability all right and uh thanks a lot guys for coming and spending some time watching my video watching my tutorial and i hope it helps you and have a good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And don't forget to like and subscribe, all right? And uh, I will see you next time. Peace.